If you've had trouble accessing the Android data and Android OBB directories, then I have a way for you to fix this issue. Now, Google has been trying to block access to these two folders for a couple of years now. When this restriction was first implemented as scoped storage, just about every file, popular file manager app found an easy workaround that allowed them to continue accessing those directories. But there have been some more strict updates going out, and a lot of people are now unable to access those folders with their favorite file manager app of choice. So today, I'll be showing you a quick and easy method of regaining read and write access to those folders and all of the folders within it. So just to give you a demonstration of what is going on, I'm going to open up my file manager of choice and I'm going to try and access the Android data directory. So we're going to go to Android and we're going to go to data and this is going to list all of the apps that you currently have installed. Now I'll be using the Obtanium app in today's example but I know there are a lot of emulators out there that require you to go into the data or OBB directory in order to install some texture mods. So whenever you try to access one of those directories, if the file manager that you're using had implemented the workaround for scoped storage, then you're going to get be told that Solid Explorer needs access to that Android slash data directory. So we're going to need to allow access. So we're going to tap on grant. And if this was working properly, it would show us our data directory. And we can then find the Obtanium directory and then tell the file manager to use that folder. And that will grant this file manager app access to that directory. However, we can't do that. When we try, we're told to protect our privacy. We need to choose another folder. It doesn't matter if we're trying to access the Android data directory or the Android OBB directory. We just can't do it anymore because of the latest restrictions that Google has implemented. So to work around this issue, we're going to first open up the settings application and then we're going to scroll down a little bit until you find the apps menu. Now from here we're going to scroll down again and you're going to look for the files app that is just labeled files, not my files. It's just labeled files with and it should have the app icon that you see here. So we're going to go into that files app and if we look at the top right corner you should have a three dot icon right here also known as a kebab button. We're going to tap on that and then tap the uninstall updates option. We're going to get a prompt down here at the bottom asking us are we sure that we want to replace this app with the factory version which is basically uninstalling all of the updates that the app has had. So that is a built-in file manager app that most OEMs replace with their own. But it's this application that Google is using to block access to the slash Android slash data folder and the slash Android slash OBB folder. And since it was an application update for Google, Samsung Galaxy devices that added this restriction, we can tap that three dot menu icon that I showed you and uninstall all of them. Not only will that remove all of the updates that has been installed for it, but it will also remove the restrictions to the data and OBB directories. So now that that is done, we're gonna open up our file manager app of choice. And as you can see here, we are in the Android slash data directory. So we're going to find that Obtanium directory like we tried to do before. 
So now when we tap on Obtainium, we're gonna get that pop-up again. But this time when we tap on Grant, we can actually tap the Use This Folder button down here at the bottom for that specific folder. So we're gonna tap that, tap on Allow, and now we have access to that Obtainium folder. And you can see this is gonna work just the same as our OBB folder as well. We can go in to our WinLater folder, we can go into our Samsung Apps folder, we can go into any folder here that we need access to. If you get a prompt like we did with the Obtainium app, just like this, we're gonna follow those same steps for the OBB folder that we do for the data folder. So we just tap on Grant, tap on Use This Folder, tap on Allow, and we now have access to that directory. Now I understand that some people are not going to want a system application like the Files app to remain outdated. Sometimes these app updates include security patches for pretty critical exploits. And while we cannot open the App Store to uninstall the latest update for that app, because Google does not push out those updates from the Play Store, we can actually sideload it manually. So if you want to update the Files app again, and it's something that I do recommend you do after you have granted yourself access to the folders that you want, it's to visit this page over on APK Mirror and download the latest version of the Files app so that you can manually sideload it. And I'll be sure to include this link to this page down in the video description below for those who want quicker access to it. When you download this, it's gonna be packaged up as an app bundle. So in order to install that update, We are also going to need to install the APK Mirror installer. So once that has been installed, and after we download that app update from APK Mirror, we can tap on Browse Files, find the files update that we just downloaded, tap on Install Package, Tap on install app. And then after a few seconds, you'll see the update notification. And we can update that app manually, just like that. And as mentioned, even though we have manually updated the app, our file manager of choice is still going to retain access to those specific folders that we have manually granted access. You can see I have pre previously done that to both of my Yuzu installs, which is why I continue to have access to them even after I updated the app. Now these steps that I showed you here today may work on devices from other OEMs. I haven't been able to test this with a phone running MIUI just yet, but I suspect it will work exactly the same. One issue I have run into when testing this with other phones is that it will not work with my Google Pixel 8. And this may be due to the built-in files app always having the updated version so even though I'm trying to uninstall those updates, it's still keeping a version of the app on the phone that has those patches included. So this workaround may even work on Google Pixel 7 or Google Pixel 6 devices, since it is unlikely those phones 
were shipped with the updated version of the Files app. So let me know in the comments section below if this worked on your device and let me know which phone you actually have. That way we can get a running list of which devices this workaround is accurate for and which devices it doesn't work for. And hopefully there's a workaround for these newer Google Pixel devices as well. I'm pretty sure we can easily bypass this with root access or some AEDB commands, but I do understand that most people will want to do all of this directly from a file manager application that they like to use.